Hello everyone, welcome back to Control Freaks. Uh, we are continuing with Aviary Attorney, and we're going to find out what Prince Juan knows at La Conciergerie. For centuries, the infamous, whatever, whatever. We're gonna talk to a prince. Uh, Good day, Monsieur. Oh, it's you two again. Hey, nice work on Lady Kitten's trial. Baron Rill is pacing around a cell right now, ranting about wringing your neck. Yeah, I'm not surprised. He's super mad. But hey, criminals are criminal, right? The lion guy didn't want a death sentence. <gasps> he probably shouldn't have killed Oh the guy. my gosh. Oh, you're not here to defend him, are you? Because that would be hilarious. That's so sad. He's got a death <laughs> sentence. We literally killed someone. Who's no innocent. wonder Falcon's been drinking himself to oh, death yeah, every day. Oh, this is France in the 1840s. They're gonna guillotine that yeah, lion. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Bye. All right, Sparrow. We actually get to see Prince Juan Querido. <laughs> Querido. It Literally means desire. Loved or yeah. Yeah. Oh, ew, just thrown Spain. <laughs> Nazi fox, huh? The guy's driving me nuts with his señores and his flamboyant attitude. I say the sooner he hangs, the better. Oh, they're hanging him, too. They hang well, everybody. come on, then. While we're young. Girl, you're not voice young. Hurts. I don't know if I want to do Green's voice now. Probably not. Ooh. The Prince of Spain, I presume. <laughs> oh! Yes! Get your flamboyant son. Oh. Yeah, I just gay it up. God. I don't know how to gay it up. <sighs> Indeed! Please, <laughs> no! Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Please, no! Please, and no! Please, no! Indeed! You had to be like, I am one carrito! <laughs> <laughs> you can't roll your no. Oh my I god, that know. was scary. Carrito! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you must be the legendary lawyer. Well, I wouldn't say legendary. <laughs> I wouldn't even say notable. Such humility. I would expect nothing less from the renowned individual such as yourself. This music's loud. I highly recommend we all speak it's up. It's so colorful, though. I love it. Prince Juan. Oh, oh shoot, a new item in my inventory. Yikers. Okay. But let us get down to business. I found? trust that my compañero, Mousy, explained the situation. He told us that you have been <laughs> accused of murder, but we need some further details before we can start our investigation. Ah, oh, of course. What is it that you wanted to know? Why? What were you reading? Sure. <laughs> what? <laughs> what Why? were you reading Did before you we so that? rudely <laughs> interrupted? Because it's Don't Don't it. It's we read that. To know all the facts. Ah, uh, this book is a Spanish classic. Don Quixote, Don Quixote of where's La Mancha. The, where's the, the and do you know room? It? It's at, or the remote? Oh, yeah, he had it last. Point it on. It's a, it's a little bit loud. Do you know it? I've actually, we have all read it, haven't we? I Parts have of it, it, most of it. Some oh, of it. Sh we read like well, a bridge. That's like a it. super long book. I was gonna say, you read the whole <laughs> thing. readings for squares. <laughs> I've heard of it. No, I've read it. No, we've we've read it. Uh, we know. We've read like a bridge yeah. in Spanish. I've read it. It's a strange story. I don't know whether I'm supposed to be laughing or crying over the hero's misadventures. Indeed, it is easy to read the book as a comedy, but when I look around, I can't help but see all the people who think themselves as knights. <laughs> <laughs> you literally. I have no idea what you two are prattling on about. Not a book lover, Senor Spencer. I damn it! It's just most of my reading material tends to be on the lighter side, nice and pulpy. I see. Well, how about this, Senor Spencer? I will lend you this book. So it's important. Maybe you'll have a chance to read it, and then you'll be able to join. Me. Okay, you will lead us, prick. Thank you. I keep it in my bathroom for to <laughs> for toilet reading material, of course. El ingenioso Hidalgo Don Quixote de la Mancha is an answer. Was there anything else you wanted to know? Sparrow says always. Tell class us about the murder or why, why are you, are you in, in Paris? Why are you in Paris? Why did you come to Paris, Prince Juan? I was on a diplomatic mission. I do not know whether you are familiar with current events. But you may have heard that my country is in a state of turmoil. Is it the 1850s-ish, the time of the Spanish Revolution? Know. Maybe. 
contenders in the Spanish throne. Oh, what? shoot. Go back. I don't know how to do that. I don't either. So I thought if I can befriend some French royalty, perhaps even the king himself, maybe I can strengthen my family's name. I don't know what the sentence before that was. Sorry. Probably a war. revolution is like, we have re way With the Querido dynasty now. restored, I would, have a, I would have a chance at bringing peace to my pe beautiful nation. Oh, oh. Well, I guess that plan is gone out the window. Sparrowson, don't be rude. No, he is right. I failed terribly. Don't fret, Prince Juan. We'll do everything in our power to clear your name. Maybe once the dust has settled, you will have another opportunity to speak with King Louis Is that Felipe the guy who was and commit murdering? your mission. Thank you, Senor Facon. I'm sure you will do your best. Was there anything else you wanted to ask? Tell us about the murder. That might be important for us to know. To be honest, Prince Juan, I'm a little confused as to how a member of royalty could get in so much could trouble. Could diplomatic immunity or anything? Could you walk us through your activities on the day of the murder? Who was murdered? Of course. Yeah. Let me see. Where to begin? It was the cold and misty morning on the 6th oh, of January, so yesterday. yesterday. Yeah. I had heard that King Louis Philippe was unveiling What's... a new painting at the Palais de Louvre. <laughs> And I wish to meet the man himself. Hey, gotta wash your so, feet. after a brief stroll and picnic in Tulieriers' garden, I entered the palace. I found the royal entourage in the Louvre's Grand Gallery. When I saw an opportunity, I presented a humble gift to the king. A rose, an international symbol of passion and virtue. It's like, okay, yeah. <laughs> How romantic! But before the king could take it, a rather rude person snatched it from my fingers and then they died. It was a royal guard, a dog by the name of Major Howell. Ouch! Cried out, ouch! Cried out Major Howell. I have pricked myself upon the thorns of this dastardly flower. And then the major slumped to the floor. His face turned blue, Bad. his mouth frothed, oh. and he died. He died straight away after being pricked? Straight away, senor. It's obvious that the pricked finger was the cause of death, but I oh don't know God. of any poison yeah, that acts so fast. Nor do I, senor Facon. But clearly the police felt that poison upon the rose's thorns was the only logical explanation. Can't they test this? That and with so many the 1800s. You just stab it like a chicken or something. <laughs> <laughs> There's gonna be a chicken character, probably. Yeah, and, so with, and with so many witnesses, even the king himself, what could I say to defend myself? So where did this rose come from? I acquired it from a beautiful Parisian flower seller, La Les Hayes Markets. A girl by the name of Catherine Marie Signet, she's a swan. <laughs> oh yeah, she was. She's the one, isn't she the one that we gave her? money to? Yes. We gave her... This is important! We gave her money! We gave her francs. Oh yeah. I just know that that's the French, that's a, like the Spanish or whatever word for swan. But anyways, but surely you're not suggesting that the flower girl applied the poison herself, Senor Falcon. Well, I'm not making any accusations yet. I'm just planning to explore every line of inquiry. Poison rose has been added to blah blah so blah. But we have a poison rose now, yay! Let's not kill anyone with this. Why not? Did you want to ask any something else, Senor Falcon? No, I think that's everything. Thank you. What's the plan, Big Bird? Well, we have two lines of enquiry. We should head to the scene of the crime, the Palais du Louvre, and see if we can find any clues or witnesses. And we should interview the flower girl in Lace Halls to <laughs> market Lace Halls Market to see if she has anything to say about this alleged poisoned rose. Two tasks spread over for six days? This sum was almost too easy. Let's not get complacent. Good luck, Samurais. Wait a minute, Fakon! What is it? Did something seem off about Prince Juan to you? Can't be suspicious of everyone. He's quite a character. Yeah, he's quite a character. He seemed colorful to me, throwing roses spouting about literature. Juan's one swap Spaniard. Hmm, maybe I misread him. 
Well, look, if this is bothering you, then we could always ask around. Maybe someone in the city knows Juan's dirty secret, if he actually has anything to hide, that is. Yeah, let's dig up the dirt. But we've still got a trial to prepare for. Priority, Sparrow Son. This is where Sparrow Sid's, like, just the, the idiot, like, figures everything out. Like, whatever he did in that last one where it was, like, a stupid thing, but he, like, so solved the case. So we... those three change the dates. Yeah. We can do, like, one thing a day, I think. So we have six days to the trial. So here's the market, here's the Louvre, and here's the bar. All of which would take a day. But well, the other three first. don't take any time. Well, they wanted to. Yeah, but it's probably because there's nothing there. <laughs> I don't yeah. care about that. Uh, you never know, though. I think they said we have six days from yesterday, so we have five days leading up to the trial. I would do Louvre. Yes, We're feeling the Louvre. Go see the crime scene first. Yeah. Never been to the Louvre. Well, there. Falcon it and Sparrison make their really way to cool. the palace place, place du Carousel, the courtyard just north, north of the Louvre's Grand Gallery. Grand day. I saw that too. Oh, that's me talking. Yes, it is. <laughs> that's the Arc de Triomphe over there, right? Oh my gosh. <coughs> Do you need water? <coughs> Maybe. I water. swear it's smaller than how I remember. That's the Arc de Triomphe <laughs> du Carousel, you doofus. The big Arc de Triomphe is up the road. What? No way! Why are there two? Because when a man like Napoleon invades half of Europe, he gets to build as many triumphal arches as he damn well pleases. There's your rooster. Abby, you well, can... well, well. I never expected to see you here, JJ. That, that hurricane voice. Severian. Good day, Severian. Let's be civil, JJ. Why don't you introduce me to your new assistant? Fine, fine. Severin, this is Sparrowson, my assistant. Sparrowson, this is Severin Cocorico, Ooh, the prosecutor. most pompous prosecutor in Paris. Is he our rival here? Yeah. You somehow oh. get stuck playing all the prosecutors. Oh, are you two old school friends or something? More like arch rivals. Please, JJ. Oh, <laughs> please, please, JJ. I think arch rival implies some sort of competition. As I recall, we we've met. Uh, you in should talk like Foghorn Leghorn. <laughs> As I recall. As I recall, <laughs> we can both just be really <laughs> bad at <laughs> southern. <laughs> we've met in court on five occasions, and on five occasions did you get humiliated terribly. There we go. I'm amazed at failing bird brain like he was still able to get clients. Actually, Severian, business has never been better. I have, I'll have you know that I'm currently being employed by the Prince of Spain, no less. The Prince of Spain? Juan Carido? Well, well, this is quite oh, an amusing yes. coincidence. Don't tell me. Correct. I am the prosecutor for the very same case. It's a pity that the prince, Spanish prince will be indubitably hanged. But I suppose that is what he gets for hiring a bird brain to present him. You're all birds. <laughs> Don't call me bird brain. You're the only bird brain here, Severan. One only speaks badly when one has nothing to say. But Harry. Oh, I hate him. Volter. Oh, oh he's giving you the verbal Rico. smackdown. Quick, fuck on, make it with a retort. Oh my gosh. Huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> uh. I'm rubber at your glue. I don't agree with what you say. A witty saying proves nothing. Oh, oh no. Uh, These are all great. A witty saying proves nothing. <laughs> I really like... What's, the question is, what's going to happen at the end of those two sentences? Because it looks like there's more. Uh, yeah, I'm rubber, your glue. Whatever you say bounces off of <laughs> me, me and sticks it back to, to you. you. It's so childish. I don't oh. know what the second one is. What the whole thing is. I don't know. What should we do, guys? I am so f keen on I'm rubber. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Sure. Yeah, well, I'm rubber and you're glue. What well, bounces off you? Wait. Oh, fail. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> you're the same bubbling fool that you've always been, Falcon. But enough talk. If your messieurs would excuse me, I have a case to prepare for. JJ, it's better I think this is the I'll other character the one fanfiction I found for this. Coco Rico. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I, I can't stand that guy. He did seem like a bit of a cockerin. But is it true what he said? You know, that he trusts you in court five times? 
I can't deny it. Severin has a reputation as a ruthlessly thorough prosecutor. Mountains of evidence, surprise witnesses. It's no wonder he always manages to (laughs) one-up me. But this time will be different, right? You're struggling really hard. I am. I hope so. I know so, for you see... I stole this annotated map of the Louvre out of Cocorico's Dang, pocket, pocket when he was busy rattling off Volte. I'm a Sparrow badass. Sparrow That's, that's, that's. Impressive. I, yeah. Pretty impressive, actually. I swore you were standing three meters away <laughs> the whole time. You dark birds are so busy with your heads in the clouds that you don't ever notice a small folk running around you. That's going to be important later, maybe. Pitchy Coco Rico's pocket was like taking candy from a very tall baby. <laughs> Let's take a closer look. I see this map shows the entire Louvre area. Everything from Tuileries to the Rue de Louvre. Most convenient. We're currently standing here at the Place du Carousel. And those pendant arrows seem to show the route taken by the king's entourage, which means that the king first went... Here, through the Salle du Tibre. And then here, to the Grand Gallery where the murder occurred. Didn't Prince Juan say he spent the morning in the Tuileries Gardens? That's right. So that means Prince Juan approached the Louvre from the west side somewhere over here. Sounds like we have a lot of places to visit. Where should we go first? Join us tomorrow when we investigate the Louvre and find out <laughs> what actually happened. Mm. Take care, bitches. <laughs> I stole that from Gina. Oh, boy.